Dada? Hey, what's up, Mama? What happens when the liver fails? Oh, when the liver fails. Okay, so you have to know that the liver is really important, right? Because the liver filters your entire blood's body, so your body's blood supply, and it breaks down the elements of nutrition. So like when you eat proteins, when you eat carbohydrates, when you eat fats, the whole purpose of the liver is to take all that blood with the microscopic elements, and it breaks them down, and it stores them. For instance, proteins that we consume in our diet, get utilized to, our liver utilizes that to synthesize or create more proteins like for your globulins, uh, your hemoglobin, your clotting factors, and your tissues, of course, right? It also deals with the storage of glucose. It deals with the storage of, um, of lipids, so you can create cholesterol for your hormones, for your cell membranes, and a bunch of other stuff. So that, in essence, is what the liver does. It also detoxifies the blood. So every time that, you're, that you consume something, every time you break something down, it releases its metabolic waste. Your liver is responsible for, for breaking that down and, con and turning it into elements that are small enough and simple enough for your kidneys to pee out. And so your liver and your kidneys play a vital role in collaboration so they can maintain homeostasis. And so when the liver fails, First of all, it usually fails because of um, outside issues like too much alcohol, maybe um, you are too fat, you have a fatty liver, and the cells inside the liver that are supposed to carry out all of those functions that I just described, they can't do it anymore. And so you develop scar tissue in the liver, that's what would be liver cirrhosis, and you have something called the hepatic portal vein that drains blood or receives blood from the entire GI tract of all of that broken down elements from diet, right? And so the liver is supposed to take it, chop it down, break it down, put it away, the elements, uh, excrete the waste, to, it, uh, to, uh, it, it's, it excretes it in the bile that goes into your GI tract. And then it takes that blood that's now cleaned and it sends it via the hepatic vein into the inferior vena cava and that's essentially how it circulates. But if your liver is failing, well, it can't bring in that blood anymore because it can't pass the liver and it starts backing up. And that causes something called um, hepatic portal hypertension. And when that blood vessel gets very engorged, the plasma escapes outward and then it creates something called ascites because the fluid builds up in the abdominal cavity. And ascites, of course, because there's so much pressure impedes in your respiratory effort. You have a huge belly. Um, they have to perform a paracentesis to remove that fluid and things like that. So the patient also turns yellow, jaundice, right? The reason why that happens is because the liver also detoxifies the bilirubin from hemolysis or cell red blood cell breakdown. Your red blood cells live about 120 days and after they've reached their maturity, your liver, your, your red blood cells get broken down and your liver takes that bilirubin and breaks it down and we excrete it via the bile. And that pigment gives our poop its brown color. And this is why when people have liver issues, their poop is pale. Anyways, so as the liver fails,